<laughs> What's up guys? Uh, Eric here and today we are going to talk about this. There is no way back in and we are the eye of the needle. I breathe it all out then I breathe in. All right so today's video we're going to talk about what inspired these photographs, how we accomplished them, and kind of why. So this week, this past week, I went to the Chinese Lantern Festival, which is a festival here in town where they set up um, just these really pretty, like hand-built lanterns. So I'm sure you've been seeing it around lately. Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, you've been seeing images that kind of look like this style. Um, and that's mainly inspired by this guy named Brandon Wolfel. He's a wonderful photographer. I'll share his Instagram page, uh, his YouTube page here. He does excellent work and the internet is just copying the crap out of his style right now. It's super trendy. And I've never shot like that. The way he uses lights and colors kind of reminded me of uh, what the lighting environment is going to be like at this festival. So I thought it was the perfect place to try and see if I could shoot like him. Copy what you're interested in, see if you can do it, and then you learn new things, add it to your style. Uh, it just helps you develop and grow as a photographer. So uh, decided to give it a shot and I was actually really pleased with the results. Just kind of knowing my camera settings, I kind of know what to look for. And then when I actually got into the editing room, my process changed entirely. So I shot the photos the way I normally shoot them. And then to get his specific look, the way he uses like his teal colors, I went with a more um, purple magenta looking photos rather than his, his very blue and teal looks just because the environment kind of suited that light. Uh, and even though I could have twisted it and changed the light to really, really match that like teal looking style, uh, I wanted to add my own little flair on his kind of style. So I went out and I bought myself a pair of fairy lights off of Amazon. These things are incredible. These things will give you wonderful bokeh if used correctly with a wide open aperture these things just kind of fade out there it's it's uh it's way too bright in here let's let's do this can you see me now Ooh. i should do a whole video like this take out just wrap myself illuminate myself in a fairy ground no um so yeah these things these are pretty cool I highly recommend them if uh, you don't have a pair. They're really cheap, um, kind of fun to play with. Um, it is a copper wire though, so please be careful if you're going to wrap a model in this because it's sharp. But um, we had a really good time. We got to uh, check out all this cool natural light. I mean, they're handmade lanterns, but in the dark they gave off this really cool glow um, Brandon Wolfel uses a lot of neon signs, a lot of uh, outside what you would call natural light in the darkness. He doesn't use any strobes or flashes, uh, whereas I mainly, I use a lot of off-camera flash, a lot of strobes in my photography. So this was a very different challenge for me, being forced to use just natural lights and uh, something like this to kind of light my subject. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, like I said, I thought it was pretty successful. And, uh, well, here, watch. We, we did some cool stuff. Um, I got some video of it. This isn't going to be very long, but, uh, yeah. Check out, uh, check out our time at the Chinese Lantern Festival. We'll see you in a second. And the one 
one who always says that you gotta take the chance you get Cause we, we are one in a million Tonight's the night we come alive I do and you don't, we compliment each other The reason for love has always been do a good job copying Brandon Wolfel's style that I do a terrible job let me know in the comments down below what you thought of uh, my edits um, and if you've done this or you want to go ahead and try copy the style I'd love to see your images please post them down below I'd love to see what you get um, but yeah other than that maybe I'll do another video actually showing how I edit these uh, until then I just want to keep this quick haven't posted in a video uh, in almost a week, so sorry. Um, I've got a lot of content shot that I just need to edit and get out. So expect some more videos in the next few days. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video. Smash that dislike button if you hated it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Please subscribe. That helps me out a ton. Subscribe if you like this content. Uh, there's a little bell right next to that subscribe button. You click on that, get notified every time I post a video. So yeah, thanks for checking it out. I hope you all have a wonderful week. I hope to see you again real soon. Um, yeah, uh, I really, I'm really excited to show my next few videos. Um, I've got some cool projects online. I might start doing something else additional in terms of the vlog, just mapping that out once I get that all set up. You'll probably see a lot more of me on here. But again, thank you very much for checking out my content. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Still haven't figured out an intro and an exit. I'll think of something cool eventually, maybe. Uh, yeah, bye! I, I am the one who always says that you gotta take the chance you can. Cause we, we are one in a million Tonight's the night we come alive